story that is tomorrow. As of right now, Richard Dawkins is here. The Greatest Show on Earth, which is his latest book where he thinks he can prove uh, evolution. What is the, what is, if you have just one single thing that you can say that definitively proves that evolution is a fact? Comparing the genes molecularly across all animals and plants, it falls on a precise hierarchical pattern which is obviously best interpreted as a family tree. And this becomes possible, becomes uh, quantitatively possible, because all living creatures have the same genetic code, which means you have literally reams and reams of textual information, just like a book, mm -hmm. in every cell of every body of every creature and every plant in the world. Uh, Doctor Who is fictional, we know that, right? And you should know that. <laughs> Doctor Who is not real. I don't know how many people get to go on Doctor Who, a science fiction television show, and do a cameo as themselves. You get to be yourself on Doctor Who. The Simpsons is my great ambition. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> That'd be a pretty good one. Um, no, I, I was on Doctor Who because my wife used to be on it, and, and so I guess that was why they thought it was interesting. Did you grow up watching that show? No, I didn't. Um, but um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I've watched all her tapes since. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a guilty pleasure television show? Do you sit back and watch, like, Flavor of Love or something like um, that? Do you have one? <laughs> I've never heard of that one. Yeah. Um, You're not missing anything, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, um, well, I love The West Wing. Yeah. Um, ER. Uh, yeah. How about a favorite movie? You have a favorite movie? Oh, well, old British comedies, like The Lady Killers. The real Lady Killers, not the, the ridiculous one that they made up recently. Yeah, the, the American one. The, the, the real British Lady Killers. Is Who's your one. favorite world leader of all time? Barack Obama. Yeah? Yeah. Now, now what is it about Obama that you like so oh, much? I mean, a wonderful leader, a, 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 such a breath, of, a breath of fresh air after the appalling uh, debacle of the last eight years. <laughs> Um, intelligent, eloquent, uh, sympathetic, thoughtful, and um, really interested in getting the right things done. What's the one song that if it comes on the radio, you're certainly going to turn it up in the car and you're going to start moving your head? Oh, my God, these questions. Um, <laughs> well, because we already know about how you think about all this other stuff. We need to understand Dawkins the man. Um, yeah, okay. I love sort of Judy Collins-type Joan Baez uh, type um, folk songs. Mellow, thoughtful. Y yes. Yeah. It, was, I mean, it makes perfect sense. I mean, you were a Vietnam War protester, weren't you? Yes. What kind of protester were you? Yeah, I mean, I, I was in Berkeley, California in the late 60s, and that was the place to be if you want to get involved in that kind of protest. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we had tear gas and National Guard with flowers stuffed in the end of their rifles and things like that. What was that time like? Well, it was, it, it was an exciting time. It was a bit distracting from the sort of work that I was supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it, it was the 60s, after all. Right, yes. <laughs> the, uh, uh, as Christmas comes out, Christmas is the time when a lot of people... I mean, there's always the debate about the holiday season or Christmas season, but there's a children's book coming up about atheism, and you, you contributed, didn't you? The, ch the Atheist Guide to Christmas, er edited by Ariane Sherin, mm -hmm. um, and I have indeed contributed. I, I contributed a short story written in the style of P.G. Woodhouse. Um, lawyers wouldn't allow me to actually use the names of Jeeves and, and Wooster. So I had to turn Jeeves into Jarvis <laughs> and, and Wooster into Woofter. Um, and it's a story about um, Bertie going around London and seeing one of these buses with, a, with an advertisement on that says, there's probably no God, so stop worrying and and enjoy your life or something yeah. like that. So Bertie sees one of these buses and he goes home and asks Jeeves all, Jeeves all about it. And they talk about it and Jeeves explains all about atheism and philosophy and, and, and religion and things like that. Um, I think it's quite funny, but... but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is, uh, is Bill O'Reilly as thoughtful, fair-minded and kind as he seems on oh, TV? absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Richard's um, got a brand new book. It's called The Greatest Show on Earth, The Evidence for Evolution. Uh, good to have you on the show. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank you very much. Like a swing. Thanks a lot for being Thank here. Yeah, it was a pleasure to meet you. Take care. Hey guys.